Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In this video, this is video six of the Windows Server 2022 uh, series, and we're gonna be joining a Windows 11 machine to our domain. So just like the last file server, we did it the old school way, right? We went to uh, properties and we can go to computer and domain and just put the domain name and then we can join it to the domain, right? Like the old school way. So in this video with this Windows 11, we're gonna do a little different. We're gonna use PowerShell. Just so we have that, you know, the skills to do it different ways and how to do that, right? And just learn how to do it. So step number one, we're gonna join the computer to the domain. And we're gonna be using the method of PowerShell. And then we're gonna log on to the domain to see the computer in the computer's container. All right? So let's jump on to our Windows 11 machine. This is it right here. So the first things first, let's open up PowerShell, run this as administrator, make sure everything is good. So before we actually run anything, I just wanna make sure I can communicate with the domain, right? Just make sure DNS is working. This is all the preliminary stuff, right? So what I wanna do is I wanna ping, it's win22-dc01 in my case, perfect. Awesome, so I do see it. And if I do an NS lookup, right, we can see that it's using that for DNS. So we're good, you know, because if I just cancel out of here, let's clear this. And if I do an IP config call, we can see my IP address is 192.168.199.10. And I have all the Correct configuration here to go. Okay, if I do host name, it's win11. So we should be good. Okay, so I do have the command uh, copied. I'm just going to copy it and then paste it over here. So let's do that so I don't have to. All right. Okay, let's see. See if we can get this edit, paste. All right, it's not pasting. Let me try one more time. Let's see. Copy. Guess it doesn't want to paste. Oh, too bad, so sad, Pat. We're gonna have to do this. So we're gonna do add computer, right? So we're gonna do domain name. Yeah. And then our domain name in my case is going to be infosecpat.com. The dot local, but it's dot com. And then we're going to pass through the credentials, right? And then my credential, my username is going to be administrator. Yeah. And then if we hit enter, we should get this little box and we should be good to go. So now we just have to authenticate with our, whoops, I think I fat fingered that with our credential and perfect. We looks, looks pretty good. The change will take effect once the computer reboots. So let's just go ahead and reboot. Restart this bad boy. While this is restarting, let's jump onto the domain. Okay. Jump onto the domain. Okay. And let's, uh, let's log in. Input, keyboard. Let's go ahead here. And if we do a little refresh Rooney, we see Win11. Perfect. So that's how you add a computer to a domain with PowerShell. So let's go ahead and go back to the Windows 11. Okay. So now we have Pat. This is the local machine, right? It's the local user. Let's go to other user on the bottom left. And then I want to log in with administrator. That's the only, that's the only, uh, sorry. That's the only user we have at the moment. Okay. 
we're going to be creating users, objects. The more the, the course goes on, the more we're going to learn. So that's pretty much how we're going to add a computer to a domain in Windows 11 with using PowerShell. So let this do its thing. Once this is rebooted, we should be golden. Once it logs in, I should say. Hopefully it takes a few minutes. So let's go ahead and just open up. up. Let's just open up our PowerPoint again, make sure we got everything clear. So we joined the computer, just to recap. We joined the computer to the domain using PowerShell. We logged onto the domain to check if the computer was there. It was there. And then I should have put four and five, you know, reboot Windows 11, log back in to check and all that good stuff. But let's see, perfect. Now we are logged into our Windows 11 machine. Okay, so let's go ahead, go to our system. We can just make sure everything is good. And we see here, win11.infosecpat.com, right? So we see everything is good. You are good to go. And this is Windows 11 uh, Enterprise Evaluation Copy. So we should, we're good. So this is how you install, uh, not install, this is how you join a Windows 11 machine to a domain We're using PowerShell, right? So thank you so much for viewing. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in, you know, in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, share, and many more videos to come. I'm really enjoying making these videos. And uh, yeah, if you have any suggestions, please feel free to leave it in the comments below as well. If there's something that you want to see within this series, maybe I can uh, throw it in. And um, yeah, like this is going to be fun. So I really enjoy it. Thank you so much and have a good one.